When I was a photographer at Epcot, I had a bunch of places that I absolutely loved to use as backdrops and photo locations when I was taking pictures of my guests. On my recent trip to Walt Disney World, my visit to Epcot brought back so many memories, especially places that I really enjoyed shooting pictures of my guests. There are just so many great locations all around the World Showcase, and as I was a rover, I got to take advantage of so many of them and, and get creative. So I decided while I was there that I'd take you on a little bit of a walking tour around the World Showcase, starting off in Canada and working our way all the way around to Mexico, and show you a lot of my favorite locations and ideas and some of the things that I used to do with guests to maybe give you some ideas next time you're at Epcot and see some great locations and ideas for pictures that you can take. Okay, so this was actually one of my favorite places to shoot when I was working at Epcot because you can see the beautiful gardens behind me here in front of La Salle. These are actually based on real gardens in Canada, uh, based on the Victoria Gardens. And what I would do is I would actually get guests to come right up over here, kind of lean against the fence that I'm leaning against right now, and we would get a picture that would look something like that, where you get all the gardens behind them. And it was just a, a great, nice, pretty picture. This is another place I'd like to use to shoot. It's in the back of Canada, on the way down to the Circle Vision. And my favorite place, place was actually down the steps here. And you can come down about halfway, and there's a little landing down here. And you can kind of shoot about right here, but the best place is further down still. And right down in here, you could get some great photos of people with the big waterfall right behind them. It's just a beautiful place to get a picture. There's another place that I would take photos. You can see it's on the corner of the UK Pavilion, right there with the gardens and just a pretty area. But of course you think UK and you think the old phone booths. How many can you cram into a phone booth? And yes, they do work. This is actually another old photo location. It's the Toy Soldier, also in the back of the UK Pavilion. It used to be that you would come in to this area and the Kidcot station still in the same place. There's Kidcot, and then you'd have the sitting room there, and then this whole wall is all new, because where that wall is used to be the open area, and right through there used to be Pooh and Tigger's meeting room. And you can actually still see the room through the glass. See the same carpet? Now it's a bedroom. Christopher Roberts' bed. Christopher Robin's bedroom, apparently. But it is the meet and greet. That's so sad. This is the bridge from UK, which you can see behind. And going out towards the National Gateway. And yes, this is another photo pass spot. And I do believe I actually used to work with this gentleman because he does look familiar. So I'll have to see. Another nice quiet spot in Epcot that I would actually bring guests over to shoot photos in. Especially if I was doing magic shots. This was a great place to do magic shots because you can see it's a busy day and there's almost nobody here. And you could use the steps for all sorts of different ones. Uh, like characters sitting next to the people. and Just a really nice pretty location to be able to get some nice family pictures. So that was a place I used a bunch as a rover. And if you want to know exactly where it is. Well, this is the bridge between UK and France, and there is France right there. Pretty neat how they cross the channel. This was another place that we loved to shoot, simply because with the fountain right there, it just made a beautiful backdrop, and we just put people right in front of that bench, either standing or sitting, and then they could look back, and not only would they have the fountain, but there's the Eiffel Tower hiding right back there as well. There's the shot that we took. 
So here's something else that actually just changed. If you go into the arcade, this little doorway over here actually used to lead to Belle and Aurora's rain location. So if it was raining, we would come in here and they would have a library with some glass windows. And you'd walk in and Belle's Rose used to be a big stained glass window right there. And then along with the library and some books. And over on the other side, it used to be a stained glass picture of Aurora's castle. But now you can see it's perfume and makeup. This is inside the French gift shop here, and this has changed quite a bit. The other thing I'm looking for is actually over here still, and it does look like it exists still. And it's the artist palette. This was actually one of my favorite props to shoot with. It's a different picture in it now than it used to be. Yeah. Um, but I would actually carry around a paintbrush and I would pose somebody here so that they would look like they were holding the palette and painting the picture. We'd grab a beret from one of the shelves, like that one over there, and make him look French artist. It was a lot of fun. Very popular photo. This was actually another place I used to shoot, but this is kind of related to the Kim Possible game that used to be here. And there actually used to be a place up there where there was a camera. And they would stand right about where I'm standing now, and they would have to look up there to activate this thing. And I would stand right over there, and I would get a picture of them having a picture taken of them by the Kim Possible camera. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. There would be a couple different kinds of pictures I would shoot at this fountain. You know, one you could just sit right on the edge, and then you would put that right behind, and just a really nice backdrop that way with the fountain right behind whoever you're posing with. The other thing I would actually do though, is I would have people stand up on that edge there and then lean over the fountain and you would get this picture of them with the surface of the water right in front of them. I have them just kind of maybe rest their elbows there if they wanted to get wet or if they're a little afraid, just come close. And just a real pretty backdrop with the water reflecting and then that right behind them. So you can see the Fez hat with the camel. We would actually borrow a Fez hat from the store too, and then post people in front of the camel with the Fez. This is one of the spots I love to shoot in Japan, with the Koi Pond. Just a very pretty, serene place, and I'd have people stand up against the railing there, and then be able to get a, a nice picture of the waterfall and the pond behind. Unfortunately, it looks like the Koi are gone. That may be because it's kind of cold out here right now. But the gardens are just a really pretty place. Japan's got a number of places, though. So you can see the one photo pass photographer there with the arch. That was always a great place to take them. And you can see it's a popular place for couples. We would also swing around, sometimes maybe over in the Peace Garden, or I love to get Mitsukoshi in the background. Big temple, just a beautiful backdrop. And then of course, you've got the Grand Palace in the back and the pagoda. So Japan's just got a, a bunch of great backdrops that you can use. Even in the Koi Garden, there's actually a little bridge up there that you can use a ba as a backdrop too. So just a lot of neat little places. And then of course, there's also the uh, samurai on the horses. Those were also a great backdrop and just all sorts of different things that you can see and do. Now, as far as where I would shoot out here in Italy, this was a favorite place over here. With when you come over here, you would get a great view of Spaceship Earth. One of the ones that a couple of photographers like to do is they actually like to get kids who had just eaten ice cream cones, or they actually carry around paper funnels, so it looked like an ice cream cone, and they'd have the kid hold it, so that way Spaceship Earth would just sit right on top of it and look like an ice cream cone. We would then come up over the steps here, and you can see that Italy has the boats down here in the docks, and we would get people with pictures with the boats. As well as with the fountain over there. And then we could use the steps for all sorts of different things, including magic shots and other things. This is actually one place I actually got to take a proposal photo. It was right over there. Italy has a couple other places that would be fun to shoot. Right here at the entrance plaza, they have a juggler who would come out and he would get the kids involved in his act now. Normally, we were not supposed to take pictures of the people who were acting out because of the union rules and other things. 
However, he was wonderful, and he would actually deliberately pose the kids for us. So anytime I saw him, I would make sure that I was ready to go for the camera because he would set the kids all up for me. But this fountain here was another favorite place to be able to shoot, just like they are doing. Because it's just a really pretty fountain, and then at night, it just lights up beautifully. So if I could walk around with a tripod, this would be a great place for me to get pictures at nighttime. Well, here we are in Germany, and you can hear the chimes from the clock ringing. Just beautiful music right there. This was another place a lot of photographers take pictures, particularly around the fountain and the statue right there. I generally did not shoot over here very much. I would work with Snow White some, but my issue with Germany is, for whatever reason, I have a not so good reaction to sauerkraut, and the smell could actually make me sick. And so I tried not to shoot in this courtyard area, because even while I'm standing here, the smell of sauerkraut from the restaurant is just kind of overwhelming me here, so I'm not gonna be here too long. Like, ooh, yeah, sauerkraut makes me really sour. Anyways. But just a neat little area. Of course, another spot that pretty much exists all around the world showcases, right along the edge of the lagoon. Almost same place you have an open fence, you can come up, take the guests, put them with the lagoon and maybe Spaceship Earth behind the backdrop there. Now I'm almost, I'm in Germany just about, and Italy has some wonderful places too out there, which I'll show you. But of course you can see with Germany, they've also got a couple places with the boat dock right over here where you have a couple wonderful little alcoves. Now they've got a bench in this one, but that was also a great place. So it's over here. This was one of my absolute favorite places to take photos as a photographer. I would come over here and see somebody getting their face painted, like this young lady here. And you take pictures of them the whole time while they're getting painted. And of course they can't see it. And so when it came time to do the reveal and they'd hold up the mirror, I would actually come up behind them and I'd take a picture into the mirror of their face so you could see the reaction that they gave when they got to see the picture of themselves. Just a fun set of pictures to be able to take. China just has a ton of different places. This is actually the back doors in the very back of the shop. That's the exit doors for the theater. And this is typically where we would come in if I was shooting, say, with Mulan or just shooting out in China. We would come in through those doors and then we would walk past the theater doors and past the shop and I'll add them to the market. Now there's all sorts of places I would shoot here. I would actually bring guests back here sometimes and let them practice the Chinese yo-yos and get those pictures. Those are always a lot of fun because almost no guests could do the yo-yos and so they were usually flopping and flipping them and we catch them in the air. Then we would come out into the little plaza and this was another place that could be a lot of fun to take pictures of guests. I mean, we might get them that direction, but it was fun to swing them around and put that as their backdrop as well. Just a very pretty background for them. But then I would bring guests out in front of the temple. And you can see the pictures that they take in front of the temple. There's a couple of me there. Again, just a beautiful backdrop. We might actually stand up in front of the big gate, too, so you can get that. But another wonderful location is right where this young lady is standing. She's got a great photo spot. Because you can take the picture with all the gardens behind you and get a different angle of the temple. And just a wonderful place that way. We would also take people all along the sides of the railings over there and have them lean over on one side, maybe rest their chin and their arms on a railing and then I would come over here and shoot looking right at them with the water in front of them and various things like that. Just a lot of beautiful places to get pictures of guests here. China also had another location that was absolutely wonderful and that was actually inside the temple. I would actually get down on the floor, lay on my back and have the guests stand around me in a circle and put the ceiling of the temple up as a backdrop and take that photo. And it just produced a really neat looking photo with everybody looking down on me in the picture. This rock here by China is actually one of my other favorite places to shoot a picture. Kind of like, why right, on earth would you shoot a picture of a rock? Well, you see there's this big hole right in the middle of it. And so what I'd love to do is I'd love to get couples and we would put them on one side of the hole 
and then I would stand on the other and zoom in and we would get a real nice picture of both of them there and get a nice natural frame. Just a really pretty picture. The store in Norway was also a lot of fun. I would have guests grab swords and shields and put on the Viking helmets and it was always fun when a guy got the one with the braids. And then we would take a picture of them having a classic fun battle scene. Also, the giant troll in the shop was a lot of fun as well. You get people posing in front of them, and if I had an especially fun group, I would get the goofiest person to stand in front of the hand. Then I'd have everybody laugh or look shocked and point at the person in front of the hand while they put on an expression that looked like the troll had just swatted them. The store here on the corner of the Mexico Pavilion was actually another place I really liked to shoot. They used to have sombreros and maracas and uh, other instruments, which they still had the maracas hiding right over there. And we would get the guests to put a sombrero on and grab the maracas and have a little bit of fun with them and then get a couple pictures that way. Just a nice little place. So here's one more place that I would like to shoot. This is the Mexico Pavilion. Of course, we get people who would stand on the stairs and then we get the whole pyramid right behind them. And we could do a couple different things. We did just kind of stand them in a group, but I loved if I had big families that I would actually line them up one on each side of the railing, going from like youngest all the way up to the oldest. And then you'd shoot them up that way. Yeah, sort of a Brady Bunch style thing, but it was a neat picture to be able to take that way. This was another one of my favorite places to shoot, it was right inside the pyramid. And I would get people to kind of line up along the wall, like this family is doing. And then you could shoot with it all of that in the background now this is a harder shot to take because it's darker in here and so you'd actually have to use a night shot setting especially with the fountain and i might get them sitting on the fountain like that or on the side might do the sombreros in here or if i could i try to get that pyramid in the background as well just a really pretty shot sometimes i have a tripod but a lot of times i was having to handhold this back then my hands were a lot steadier a very pretty area to be able to get a picture. I hope you enjoyed that tour of the World Showcase and places that I thought were great locations for photos and ones that I hope give you some ideas in the future. What other locations have you taken pictures and what other great backdrops have you seen? I'd love to hear your ideas and your comments and your favorites in the comments below. So don't forget to leave them. Please don't forget to like and share the video and if you haven't hit subscribed yet, please make sure you do that and hit that bell so you know when I get new videos up. Thank you so much too to my patrons Without them, I couldn't produce videos like this, and they're such a huge support. I'd also like to give a special shout out to my newest patron, Ace Sleeves, who signed on and is a huge supporter, so thank you so much. If you want to know more about Patreon, or my store, or Facebook, or other things, please make sure you check out the description. It's got links to everything there. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button right there. If you'd like to see another great video of mine, there's a good one right there for you. And if you'd like to be like these wonderful people and support me on Patreon, hit that link right there. Thanks so much.